All right, what's going on guys, it's Light here, and welcome back to the YouTube video. And as you can see here, we're on the Happy Wars website. And it's a good thing I didn't grab my mother's Xbox or anything like that at all just to sit here to make this video. I just find it so baffling to me that we are sitting here looking at the Happy Wars 12th anniversary. This game's been up for 12 freaking years. That is absolutely insane. But the sad thing is, is that they did the same thing thing again compared to every other anniversary and i'm about to prove it to you here just a second it, it, it's sad it, it's something i actually expected as well too so let's just kind of go over this and stuff like that real quick happy wars is now 12 years old hey there happy happy people this is the management team 12 years has passed since happy wars launched on the xbox 360 thank you to everyone who has enjoyed happy wars with us until now for our 12th anniversary we are hosting a big week of campaigns you don't turn 12 every day, so let's all get happy! 12th anniversary campaigns, 50% off of Happy Cards and Limited Edition. They did that last year, in the year before that. Nothing really new, there's nothing new. It's just, oh yeah, let's just do 50% off of Limited Edition, that's it. That's it. 50% off of Limited Edition just makes it where it's only 12 tickets per pack. That's it. Like... I don't know what else to say. And it says, Happy Cards Limited Edition is 50% off all week. Wow, that's that's so crazy. Give have a round of applause. Oh my gosh, yay. I'm kind of trying to keep it quiet so I'll not be too loud because there are people in the house kind of sleeping right now. So let's let's try to make this kind of funny and a little fun, you know? But anyways, 12 lucky winners get the jackpot. Anyone who logs in between 9 a.m. Thursday, October 10th and 8.59 a.m. Thursday, October 17th has a chance to be one of 12 players who will receive 1212 happy tickets celebrate with us the only way we know how party hard and party happy funny thing is this is what i'm going to tell you what's going to happen this is the only campaign they're going to host they done this last year and they did this the year before that this is the only campaign that they're going to host and that is going to be very sad why put it in plural saying there's multiple campaigns when in reality there's actually only one i know people make the argument that oh but the limited edition is 50 percent off it doesn't mean anything they do this stuff just kind of here and there just that, that this is normal in my opinion i can't even classify it as a campaign even though it's it, it's kind of false in the definition of it but well, the way that they're wording this you think there's gonna be more than one thing that's gonna be going on and such like that but no this entire week is just gonna be 50 percent off limited edition and 12 players are gonna have a chance of getting 1212 happy tickets like what happened to you toy logic like seriously what the, what the hell happened to you how do you go from a company and such who made banger games to a company that does so devolved so much that you don't care about the fan base anymore? Who cares about the toxicity and stuff like that? They're the ones who are keeping your game relevant more than anybody. That's crazy. And this is how you treat them. Like, I don't even play the game I, and I pity them because it makes absolutely no sense. But let me show you guys the, the other anniversaries and such. So just give me a sec. All right, here we are. The, the Happy Wars 11th anniversary. Hey, and then we were just gonna skip through all this. Look. 50% off a limited edition again. Guess what? You can win 1,111 happy tickets. Dude, th this company makes me so angry. If I wasn't a type of person that would not strike first, I would punch the freak out of one of them in the face. I gotta have to censor myself. Otherwise, you know, this video might just get taken down because it's like, oh, you're trying, you're, this is like a threat to like a, like a person. It's a figure of speech. Calm down. Okay, get in here. We get 10th anniversary. Yeah, see right here? 50% off a limited edition. Again. Oh, and guess what? The only thing that they did that's a little different is that they gave everybody 120 tickets. But the crazy thing is, is that they only added this right here, the, uh, the elite controller with a potential rare buff because people complained. Actually, no, 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 that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. We got the scientist rocket because people complain. This was like, they, they did something unique, but the, the premise is the, kind of still here. The 1,100, well, not 1,100, 1,010 tickets. They're just trying to keep it with the same number. If, if the game becomes 13 years old, it's going to be 13, 13, you know, 1,313. That's it. They should just shut down the game, honestly. Ninth anniversary, watch this. It, it's about, it's probably about to be, be completely different, actually, now that I think about it. Oh my gosh, I'm completely wrong. Wow. No! Wow! I completely forgot about this! They did the same thing again! 
50% off a limited edition. Oh, here, have 108 tickets to spin on limited edition nine times. Wow, that is literally the same rehash right here. Hey, let's give you 120 tickets so you could spin in a limited edition 10 times. When there's nothing unique about limited edition, you're just playing normal cards just slightly cheaper. That's it, that's that's literally all you're doing. Like, th this is insane. Oh, here, have special finale three. Oh, here we go, have special finale two. It, 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 it just gets worse. What about the eighth anniversary? No way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I I forgot about this too. Oh wow, I, I'm remembering all this. Dude, the amount of tabs I have opened right now, we have five tabs actually. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Dude. This is stupid. Here, have 192 tickets so you can do limited edition eight times when there's nothing you need going on with it at all. That is insane. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. Yeah. Here, mark the date because Tabby was turn eight. Here, have this X amount of tickets so you can open up limited edition eight times. Eight times. Oh boy. Let's take the seventh. I think this is the only one that's actually truly different, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh. They had a, they had a different background with this one and i remember this one now too because my alt account was the one who got these tickets and stuff like that i remember having an old video of me having the super only disc blade it's a helm and the solomon's blade and i forgot what the other armor i had on and whatnot on the happy mage account that's how i got all that gear because i was the one i my alt account got these tickets i actually won it on my main but my alt account did it so players who are uh you know you have a chance to win are more likely to win if you play more frequently i only logged in that account once didn't even play at all and i won i'm like this game is rigged dude i cannot believe it's actually literally the same thing with just a different background happy oh no wait no i'm i'm stupid no this is completely different happy tickets are 50 percent off for a limited time that's actually fairly decent in my opinion i'm not gonna lie 50 percent off some tickets I mean, that's completely different. But they decided, let's just do 50% off of, of a limited edition instead. But anyways, I, it, the, the more I go into this stuff, it's gonna be a lot more different for each other anniversary. We just see it from 8th anniversary to 12th anniversary. It's just a rehash, same thing over and over and over again, just taking away more and more things as just time goes on. But other than that, I'm disappointed in the Toy Logic Company because of how they handle things and just the nonsense that they have. It's like, why do people even support this company anymore? Like, I'm bringing attention to this. Just, I can't eat it. You guys care about the game, but like, I think people need to boycott the game just to get the company to listen. And boycott Warlander. Like, stop playing their new games. Like, nobody cares about them. That's why they don't you have a huge player base. Their so-called dead game has more player base than Warlander. That's sad. But anyways, I'm late. I'll see you guys next time. I'm done talking about this.